What's up, Scorpio? Hey, Scorpio. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. What's going on, my Scorpios? All right, Scorpio. I'm here to do your collective reading. This will be for um, Scorpio placement. So wherever you guys have Scorpio in your chart, do keep in mind that this is general. So it may or may not resonate with all of you Scorpios out there. So please do only take a resonates and never uh, force it to fit. Okay. Um, in this reading, I'm going to look into your person's energy and see what they are currently all about. I'm going to look into the recent past between you guys and the present energy. And then we will end it with some love oracles in a spirit message. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Okay. Universe and spirit. Please guide me for this reading for the time of Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio at this time? Let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio. What is Scorpio's person currently all about? What is Scorpio's person currently all about? What is the shadow for? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The strength card. Nine of Wands in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius or a Leo you guys are dealing with. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is a relationship. Mm, let me see. Ten of Swords and the Devil. So somebody definitely have a friends of benefit situation. We got ten of swords in the devil. We also got the knight of wands in reverse. All right. Um, this is also given into temptation, a lustful situation. person um what they're all about why is this not a pentacles reverse seven of wands two friends in reverse so something happened with, uh during an argument okay so type of disagreement here okay that's what you guys have been arguing about because there definitely was some type of little situation here. Um, let me see something really quick. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? Somebody gave into temptation, you know. Yep, Nine of Swords, feeling bad, having regrets. Nine of Cups, something that made them feel good at the time. The Knight of Cups in reverse, definitely with somebody else involved. Could have been another Scorpio, could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, a Leo. All right, we have more Sagittarius energy here. So. You guys could be arguing over that right now. Somebody giving in to, you know, temptation, a lustful situation. Or when you guys got into some type of argument, it's like something happened. We have the devil. Yeah, and somebody feels betrayed. Somebody feels like even though we got into it, why would you step outside of our relationship? Like, what made you do that? So... Who oh, knows, Scorpio? Let's see. What made them give in to this other person? Depressed, bored, feeling rejected, feeling lonely. Yeah. So, I mean, not that that's an excuse. Could be a Virgo. But this is the reason why they did it. Why is this Hermit in reverse? See the Emperor in reverse. Just out of control. Not thinking, honest, obviously. And I'm not thinking that you will find out. Hmm. So let's see what's going on. So I just feel like um, it's going to create more problems. Let's see. What did this person do? What did they not tell me? This is not what's really going on, Dick. Let's see. What did this person do when it comes to Scorpio? What are they not telling y'all? Scorpio. Emotionally abusive. Lust. So this is my that's emotionally manipulative emotionally manipulative. See the love triangle. Trauma bonding. 
So they could have trauma bonded with somebody. Okay. So this is telling me that this wasn't a one-time thing, man. Because to tra trauma bond and to be in a love triangle, that means that they had to keep going back, keep talking to this person. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Messages for Scorpio. Why is this not a cup for me? Versus care about this energy. It could be with the coworker. Okay. Um, and we have the ex. We have the woman. Else. So for some of you guys, it was with a coworker and with their ex. For others of you, you have bad intentions, right? And then for others of you, um, it was with a coworker that is not their ex. Okay. It's so like they don't. They're like, oh, I don't deal with them. I cut the situation off. Let's see, Scorpio. Dreaming of you, happy place. So that flew out, so we're going to take it. So this person could be dreaming of you and just wants to be back in a, you know, good space or place with you, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpio. We have ending. Endings, karmic, toxic relationships. So this is, could have been a, you know, a karmic or, you know, a little karmic situation they were in. Of course, this person would be in toxic as fuck for doing what they did. Um, let me see. Only friend I have. So for some of you guys, they can be like, you're the only person that understands me. You're my only friend. And you're like, no, nah, you were her friend or their friend or his friend. And y'all were messing around. So let's see. Love connection, true or false. So somebody tried, somebody, I said not try. Somebody um, caught feelings for somebody and didn't know what this really was. Was this was this real? Like, what was what they were feeling? Was it real? Was it false? Like, what was it? What were they feeling? Separation, breakup. So, it caused a separation and a breakup. And then we have, where were you when I needed you? So, I don't know why this is coming out for their energy. But let's see. Why is this here? Where were you when I needed you? So, somebody feels... Okay, so your person also feels like when you guys did get into it or whatever happened, they tried to apologize to you. You know, but you left them like kind of like confused as to like, but maybe you had this person feeling like they didn't know where they stand. Not saying that that gave them the okay to do this, but let's see. Let's see what's going on in the uh, recent past. We have the emperor. We have the moon. We have the six of cups. So some of you could have felt like they were hiding something, acting funny. We got the moon here. Empress, somebody that's you know all in. All right, well, let's see why this moon is here. Pisces, Aries energy. Why is the moon here? Recent past. Page of Swords. Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, I feel like what you guys noticed is that this person just wasn't making time for you. They were starting to act funny, like there, but not really all in. Okay, because they were you know giving time and attention to this person. You guys are starting to see it. Why is the Six of Cups here? Mm -hmm. They were getting attention from somebody for sure. And they had this person thinking that y'all went through so much or that y'all were going through so much. You know, maybe you guys were, but they were just running their mouth, pillow talking, all type of shit. Yeah. This other person is invested in it, and that's crazy. Like, um, I don't know how long this has been going on, but yeah. So they got this other person to like, you know, all in. So they were pillow talking. Okay. Why is this eight of cups here? They were actually telling somebody that they were going to leave you, Scorpio. King of cups and the high priestess. With this eight of cups here. Three of swords. They were thinking about leaving y'all. Okay. They've been pillow talking. Mm. Let's see why this emperor is here. Seven of swords, slick. Seven of swords. See, so the empress is reversed. So they. 
So your person also felt like because, I mean, this is you guys, like, ignoring them, not really getting in, feeding into them, loving them, nurturing, like, doing the same things you were doing before, you know. So this person felt like you weren't giving them what they wanted, so they were going to get it somewhere else. Is what this, why, is like what it, how it's coming up and why they did what they did, you know. And the fact that they were pillow talking with another bitch, like, you know, they've been pillow talking. Yeah, they've been pillow talking with another bitch, telling them, you know, telling them y'all life story. Okay, like why? Like everything that y'all been through. Why is the Empress in reverse? See? Seven of Swords. The judgment. And they felt like you guys were, um, whatever you were doing, they felt like you were doing it on purpose. Okay? So, doing this on purpose, just acting a certain way on purpose. They felt like you guys were just, you know, really trying to push them away or put them in this situation. But, let me see, six of Wands in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. By priestess and reverse. Yeah. So they have a little love situation going on over here, Scorpio. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like I feel like things just went way too far. Way too far. Like way too far. Even if this was like some little um, you know, like people be at work, like, oh, this is my work boom and stuff, it went too far. And that's why I feel like I don't like those type of situations when people are, oh, this is my work work and my work wife, my work husband. Like, because I feel like that's disrespectful for one to your relationship. And not just like a 10, people take those relationships a little bit too far. I'm not, I don't know why I'm here in um, post office. Some of you guys can work at the post office. All right. Or maybe your person does. Maybe you do. Let me see. Messages for Scorpio with this other situation. What was this all about right here? Seven of Swords. Acting crazy. Yeah, see. And they're up there telling them that you're acting crazy or you act crazy or you're crazy. And that you don't trust them. Well, first of all, I'm going to say it like this. If a guy was in my bed pillow talking to me about another female telling me how crazy they are and I know they're with them, I'm going to be looking at him like, no, you must be crazy for even being next to me, pillow talking to me about that. But first of all, they're not going to be in my bed pillow talking with me if I know they are with somebody. Let's go back. So this, they're up there telling this person, like, oh, you guys act crazy. You don't trust them. They beg for you guys back. But you're acting funny with them. They're also telling this person that they had to sneak out to see you. You know, because you don't trust them and all this type of stuff. So, I mean, think about it. I mean, they, yeah, secret getaway, feeling rejected. Yeah, and plot to us. Yeah, so I feel like this was all like a little, a little plot, a little setup. But they also told this person that they feel rejected by you. You know, like you treat them a certain kind of way, all this type of stuff. So, I mean, if that's what they got to do to get some coochie or some... DD or whatever, some D, then I guess so. But somebody is just talking a lot of shit about this relationship. And, yeah. So. Mm. So, let's see. Present energy. We got the Ace of Wands. Ten of Swords. The King of Swords. So, y'all are going to find out what happened. One way or another, y'all are going to find out. That they've been, you know, dealing with this person. Alright, why is the King of Swords here? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They're going to tell you that they don't want nothing to do with this person. Mm. And that they want to work it out and be with you. Of course. Let's go into this King of Swords. The King of Cups. So, they love you. They never meant to hurt you. Y'all are better than this. You know, let me see. You had them thinking that you didn't want them. They didn't know what to do. This person, um, let me see. I don't think they're going to tell you that this person made them feel good. But this person made them feel good and made them feel like, it wasn't about even control, but I'll just say this. If they wanted this other person, they could have them only because this other person was really is really into them. So if something doesn't work out between you guys and they were to go back to this person, this person will be open to it still. Okay? But I feel this was more like an ego thing. Like this person made them feel important or made them feel needed or wanted or gave them something that you weren't giving them at the time. You know, I don't know how this all started. How it, you know... But let me see why is this Ace of Wands here. 
Yeah, for some of you guys, it's like neither one of you guys are making or putting effort into the relationship. Sex, intimacy, all that stuff was lacking. But I do feel like with the trust issues card and stuff they were saying, maybe it was certain things that you just didn't, you know, you just couldn't trust them. Maybe the love was starting to feel unrequited. This is your energy here, death card. Maybe you just felt like you didn't know if you wanted to end it or not. For some of you guys, you kind of felt or suspected that it was it was somebody else that they were, you know, sexing or with or, be, or that they were talking to. It's like you kind of felt it. You knew it. So you were just like... You know, I'm going to fall back and I'm just, I don't want to have sex with them. I'm not attracted to them right now. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And I mean, uh, for a lot of you, what you were feeling was true, but it didn't start off that way. From what I'm seeing here, it started after like multiple arguments or, you know, like maybe saying it over and over again or maybe this randomly happened, but I don't think it happened like when we first start suspecting it. But then again, like I said, everybody's story is different. So it could be. Or could have been, let's see, messages for Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. I just can't believe they were just telling all the business. You know, telling all y'all business. That's a little sassy to me. Let me see, Scorpio. We have canceled. So y'all canceling this motherfucker. Some of y'all are going to cancel their ass. <laughs> canceled. Okay. Dismissing someone or situation. Rejecting someone or an idea. Rejection. Not interested. So some of you guys are going to be like, mm, I'm good. We have sipping tea. Okay. So it says, careful who you listen to. Listen to constructive criticism. Listening to gossip news. So like I said, this person, the other person been sipping tea. Because they're spilling tea. They're sipping tea. Like, damn, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Like, yeah, this is crazy. Bougie. Okay, so this person may think you're bougie. Or maybe y'all have high standards and you're like, I deserve better. All right. Um, y'all like, I have too much class for this bullshit. So let's see. Messages for Scorpio. We have Savage. Okay, so Ruthless. Getting what you want. Don't give a fuck. Don't hold back. Tough skin. Confident. Badass. So some of you guys... I real savage. Y'all gonna some of y'all gonna be like, okay, you wanna play with fire? I got you. Let me light this bitch up, okay? Let me set it off in this. Uh... Scorpio. What a reading. Look, look what flew out, keeping you a secret. So for some of you guys, they could have been keeping you a secret. But I don't, not with the pillow talking and stuff they were doing. Maybe they were keeping a person a secret from you. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. We have obsessive lover. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy. So this person is, um, mm, yeah, Scorpio. This person is obsessive, the other person that they're dealing with. You might have to be careful. This person gonna start sending screenshots and all type of stuff, telling you stuff. I feel like this person is wasting their time though. This person may be like sick in the head or just like crazy. Same shit, different day. Let's see. Caught up. Yeah. Finding evidence. Y'all are gonna find evidence. For some of y'all, y'all are gonna find a condom somewhere. Some of y'all are gonna find a condom somewhere. Envy. And we have girl fight. So this other person is also jealous of you guys. Mm. Remember, y'all got the bougie card, so I don't think y'all gonna be fighting Scorpio. Y'all got other stuff to do. Y'all are gonna be lying. I'm not about to break a nail. Okay, I don't got time. She can fight with herself. Ribbons, this keeps coming out. I've had it for like two or three other signs. Number 33. So it says, For it lies in the silk of my binding. The knots in my truth, the eye of becoming, the witness swallowed in stillness. So let's see.
It says, Dear Soul, Ribbons remind you that you already know the answer to what you have inquired about. You are connected to your situation in a way that makes it clear what your next step should be. So follow the signs, or in this case, the ribbons. And allow the trash, I mean, sorry, and allow the truth of your inquiry to come to your consciousness. Trust in your ability to see what you need at this moment. It may be scary or require more of you than you'd hope, but you can move forward with the knowledge that this path is for your greatest good and will lead you to success. Additionally, pulling this card means the signs have been around you for some time, waiting for you to invite them into your awareness. Okay, be mindful of any colors, animals, numbers, or feelings that crop up repeatedly as they are messages from the divine guiding you to the truth of your situation. So pay attention to colors, mean like it would be colors that you guys don't normally pay attention to, colors you don't normally wear, colors you don't normally see. It's not going to be like the regular colors that you see every day, black, white, red, green, blue, all right? But if you do see those colors back to back to back to back and you're like, damn, I seen like eight blue cars, that may be significant, okay? Um, pay attention to animals. If you guys do see animals, look them up and see what it means, okay? So if a rabbit <laughs> walks past you, look it up. You know, just see what the meaning is behind it because there is definitely a, a message for it. I mean, a message for you behind color, numbers, animals, and stuff like that. Alrighty? So that is what I do have for you, Scorpio. This is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, you already know, fireintuition.com. Alrighty? Bye, Scorpio.